Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Well, he's not happy about his radiator change. No, so I've done the radiator change and basically we expected that to eliminate the majority of the build up and sludge and mud looking substances in the cooling system of the L200. Now beforehand if you took the radiator cap off it was like you'd just gone through a wet football field and poured the mud into the radiator. And it, was, it still is. And it, and it still is. So One assumes you're going to insert a photo. I am. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we'll insert a picture there. And then what we've decided to do is bite the bullet and go for a radiator cleaner. Um, You've decided. I've decided. Okay, I'll take the blame if anything happens. I don't, I don't. But liquid molly is what we've gone for. Um, as we use a lot of liquid molly products, we just thought we'd go with this one. Actually, it seems to be Portugal heavy, isn't it? We're it in does. Portugal. Yeah. Cold day in Portugal. First of June we're doing this. Yes, it's only 20 degrees. And I'm freezing. And he's frozen. So we're going to try this radiator cleaner. Now it says that you fill up the system with, uh, well, coolant or water, but we're going to be using distilled water in this case. Um, and then it says run it up to temperature for 10 to 30 minutes. Um, Did you so, read that in German? Uh, I didn't read it in German, I just translated it on Google. Uh -huh. um, so we're going to run this up for about 20-25 minutes up to temperature and see if that so makes any sort of difference. That? I've forgotten already. You, well, hopefully they'll have spotted it. Now if you're wondering if there's a little bit of oil on the top, that's because of the uh, pot we had had a tiny bit of oil on it. Um, but the majority you can see of all the dirt, this has been sat for a day now so that's, that's, that's but that's new radiator all, uh, all new pipes and three flushes three water flushes and that's the second lot of coolant coolant so. so that's the state of it and it's not getting any better so that's why we've gone for this so let's put this in run out of temperature and we'll see if we get anything a bit nicer than that we should hopefully get grim stuff like that and that should be the last of it fingers crossed let's see let's see Right then, we've got our distilled water. If you're wondering what's written on it, it's from uh, Johnny's home distillery he's made. Yes. Um, in our house in Portugal, they're built so badly, he's got a dehumidifying machine and it churns out so much distilled water. Um, well, you've decided to collect it because we, we go through it, we put it in our windscreen washers and everything. So it's great. we've been using litres of it. And, yeah, and I get about two and a half to three litres a day just out one room. Yeah, so that's a fiver we're saving just on yeah. the um, distilled water. So we'll start by putting in, we'll put in most of this and then dump in our gear. Oh, it smells not nice. Oh, I was smell, yeah, I thought smell. it was going to be really harsh. I thought it smelled like acid. Go for it. Oh, it's clear. Just in case, I'm going to, I don't know whether I shouldn't be shaking. All right, you can chuck it in that lot. So that's five litres gone in. It is, yeah, isn't it? Okay, so we'll start it up. We'll get it almost up to temperature. Uh, let all the bubbles filter through so there's no air in the system. Then we'll put the cap on, let it build up pressure, circulate for 20 minutes and see what it does. Right then, we've let the car cool down a bit and there's no pressure in the system. So what we're going to do is drain into this bucket and we'll catch a bit, see what it looks like. So I'll go underneath and let it out. Right. Okay, so we've drained the water out and we've poured one through just to flush any excess out uh, on this change. And you can see that it's fairly grim. Um, so what we're going to do, oh, Reg is not happy with that. <laughs> what, you had enough of the yeah. stomach tickling there. What we'll do is we'll fill it up with water again, flush it through up to temperature, empty it and do that twice. And then obviously the third time we'll leave it in with fresh coolant in. Um, so we'll do two more flushes and I'll also do a short probably after we've done the video, um, after about a month uh, to keep you updated on what it looks like. So. Uh, let's continue, get this flushed a couple of times and see what the last flush looks like. Okay. Okay, so it's about a week later. Go on, mention it. What? That? that. Well, you know, it's not worth discussing, yeah, is it? Yeah, it's alright, it's a kid's one. So, here's the fluid that we've got out. It's the, the spots that are bothering me more. Right, right. Well, so we, we did two flushes with uh, distilled water and then we've driven around for a week with this uh, coolant in. So this is the third level of flush. You can see, if we look at that, it's fairly clean. Um, Dad's got the cleaner bottle there. So, are we impressed with it? I'm not that impressed with it. I mean, it definitely flushed through some 
crap. But if you look through the pipes and that, it's still pretty grim in there. Um, I mean, how would, my, my question for all of these sorts of things yeah. is how tough can they really be? Because Well, they, I suppose you can't cause damage, can you? No, you so... Cause damage. I don't know. I, mean, I think for a quick... I mean, it what were we expecting? We, we, it was I never going to be... I was expecting immaculate pipes, and, I, and that, I'm afraid, is an unrealistic... No, it's uh, not going to happen, is it? But actually, if, you, if I take away from looking at the thermostat and looking at the quality of the inside, if you actually look at the fluid that's come out after a week, that's way cleaner than it was. You know, that is, that is drastically cleaner than it was. So I think it definitely has made a difference. And I think for a 30 minute, how much was that, 10 euros? Something like that. It, it, probably, it was definitely worth doing. Because I'm happy with that level of cleanliness. I think that's fine. Yes. Um, so overall, I would recommend if you want a quick flush. I mean, the majority aren't going to be as grim as this. I mean, that is quite... It was like mud. And they didn't have a thermostat in because you just put another one in. Yes, put another one. Um, but overall, I'd recommend it. We like liquid. Well, why not? Yeah, why, why not? not? Um, so why you, not? If you want a quick clean, get yourself one. Okay. Um, but other than that, hopefully you enjoyed this video. We're going back into 32 degrees, get the old uh, tan going. Here we are. Right, off we go. Tonight